Shalom Aleichem, sweetest friends. We are continuing our series of Shurim and the Ramam Hilchas Malachim. We are in Perek Tes Halacha Yedalid, and we learned that the Yisod of Mitzvah's Dinam of Bnei Noach, according to the Rambam, is not a Kiyum Din B'chiyu V'nidam L'fi Masa V'chiyu, or it's not about what the person actually did, what his Chiyuv is. Rather, it is the fact that Din must be fulfilled. Juz- judgment must be meted out, must be served. Otherwise, there's no kiyum to the world. And as long as it's called din, that's his din. And the din, uh, the, the mitzvah of dinim has been fulfilled. Now, there are certain laws, what type of dinim you do. There's mitzvah higu, according to their minig, like we learned in the previous year. But once you keep within those rules, so then you're makayim the mitzvah of dinim. But it's not about the masim and chayuvim of the gavra per se, but rather the primary aspect of Dine B'nai Noach is that judgment must be carried out. So the world isn't hefker. So the world is not a wild place. There must be justice in the world. That's the Yisod of Dine B'nai Noach. Whereas Dine B'nai Yisrael, there it's a, a higher level of fulfilling the will of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. But Dine B'nai Noach, it's just the fact that the world shouldn't be corrupted. And Yisod for this, says Raman Zetzal, we see from the Gemara Baba Kama Kuf Yud Gimel Amad Aleph, and it was Paskin later on in the Rambam, Perek Yid Alach Yid Aleph, that if a Jew and a Goy come before a Jew, for din, if you could be mezake, the Jew bedine Yisrael do so, and tell the guy kach dineinu. This is according to Jewish law. And if you could be mezake bedine akum, you should be mezake him. And then you say to the to the to the guy kach din chem. That's your din. And the Chuvas Haramai proved from this that the ikar dine mamanos of akum is bedine Yisrael. And therefore, the Rambam says that you're mezake him bedine Yisrael. However, the Achronim already say that we don't pass him like the Ramah. And then the question is, why is the Goy going to be Chayev when why are we going to be Mechayev the Goy when his Din is not Kedina Yisrael? How can you say Judge of Medina Yisrael? That's not his Din? So it doesn't seem fair. And the Beis Shlomo asks, what the Ramam writes in Lach Yer Aleph, that Begir Toshev, you don't do this. Begir Toshev is always Bedineim. It's always Bedinei B'nei Noach. So you see, not like the Ramah from the Rambam. The Rambam says the Iker Din of Goyim is Bedineim, and therefore Begir Toshev is always Bedineim. Begir Toshev is always Bedinei B'nei Noach. And a Ben Noach depends when he comes before us, we get to choose whichever way the... Uh, the, the Jew is going to come out on top. But Bedine, uh, but Begir Toshav, you always go Bedineim. Chazanish also talks that it's above a common simon Yitzif Katan Aleph. And we also see in the Rambam that if two Goyim come before a Jew Ledin, if they both want to be done Din Torah, you're judging Din Torah. And otherwise, if one of them doesn't want to, then you're judging Dine Bnei Noach. So we see that the primary din is din b'nei noach, not like the Ramah. Not like the Ramah, because all one of them has to do is say, I don't want din Yisrael. Only if they both agree din Yisrael, I get din Yisrael. But the default is din b'nei noach. So the question then is, if their ikar din is din b'nei noach, so how are we mechaiv him b'din when he comes to judge together with a Jew? Big kasha. And it's also tamua. What's the reason? If you could be mezake the Jew bedine akum, you're mezake when you say kach dinchem. So mehechi teisi that you're going to judge the Jew bedine akum. What right do you have to judge the Jew bedine akum? If He's chayiv medina Yisrael. Then be mechayiv in medina Yisrael. Now, if you're looking at the Jew, then how can you say 
And for the Jews' sake, you're going to go over to Dina Yakum. He's Chayv Medina Yisrael, only Zaka Medina Yakum, so why not be Chayv Medina Yisrael? And also, like we said before, how could it be that you just look both ways? Say, if you're the Jew of Zaka, Medina Yisrael, Dina Yisrael, if the Jew of Zaka, Medina Yakum, Dina Yakum. What's going on over here? What sort of business is that? How can be a Machai of a Goy? Medina Yisrael, his primary Dina is Medina Yakum. And also the Beis Shmuel said, the Beis uh, Shlomo says, he asks, but the Ram says in Perek Ches, Meochatzins came on in Allah Ha'ei, that Goyim aren't Mechaev people on the damage that their animal does. And therefore, Shosha Yisrael, Shizik Shosha Akum, Jewish on shore, is Mazik, a Goyish on shore, is Pater, because we're judging the Fidineim that they're not Mechaev on this Kei Behemto, on the damage their Behemoth does. So if that's true, according to this Rambam, then what's the Kash of the Gemara Baba Kama Lama Chesamad Alev? The Gemara says in the Pasuk that when one's ox damages the ox of Re'ehu, so what is Re'ehu? If Re'ehu is Dafka, that's only a Jew. But if Re'ehu is Lav Dafka, that means even including a Goy. And that would mean, says the Gemara, that a Shor Shal Yisrael, Shanag Shor Shal Akum, should be Chayiv. He should be Chayiv. Because Re'ehu is Lav Dafka. That's what the Gemara says. So Frek the Beis Shlomo, according to the Rambam, no, he should be Potter. Because of Dinchen. You're right, Lefi the Torah, Reo is Lav Dafka. But, Lefi Dinchem, according to Dine Akum, he's Pater, like the Rambam says. So why should we, if Reo is Lav Dafka, why should we be Machai of the Shor Shal Yisrael, Shanar Shor Shal Akum? Why, why should we be Machai of him if Reo is Lav Dafka? He should be Pater according to the Rambam because that's Din Chem. That's their Din. Their Din is their Namachayim on this Kebehemto. And he also asks the Gemara Zakasha the other way. Shel Akum, Shinar Yisrael, also, if Reu's Lav Dafka, then the Goy should be Chayov. No. We see according to the Rambam, the Mi'ikar Din, we judge a Goy, the Fidinam. And the Fidinam, the Namachayim on this Kebehemto. So how are they mischayev, even if Reu's lav dafka? If Reu's lav dafka, we still go with Dinayim. And their Iker Din is that uh, there's no such thing as Niske Behema. You're not mischayev with Bailam and Niske Behemta. Now if we say Shaloka Ramah, if we say not like the Ramah, Ramah holds that the guy judges the fi dine Israel. But if we say, now nah, like the Ramah, then we judge going for Akum. That's their primary din. So in the Sefer Beis Shlomo that we mentioned in the Chazanish, Neb and Ezel, they say that the din of Kach Dineinu, when we say that we're going to judge now according to our din, if a Jew and a guy come before the court, and we say we're judging the fi our din, I, the primary din, is their din for them. The answer is, is a knas. Rabbi Yatar Goyim, like the Gemara says in Boba Kama, that a Kaddish Baruch was an onish, was mafkir their mammon. So therefore, what's the hafkir of the mammon? The Rambam holds, knas. That when they come before a Jew in court, the knas is, we judge Lefi Awar Dinim to be Mazaka the Jew. So how do we know that this is where the knas is applied? In the Kach Dinenu. In the Gemara in Boba Kama, it says it's talking about Nizikin. But how do we know Shardvar? So how do we know Knas Bishardvar? Ayn Bekzo Sim and Ayn Bey Sif Katnim Gimel. And Sivas there, Sif Katnim Gimel. Shobin is Sivas. Eben Ezel brings the Yamshel Shlomo, who says that this din is only Bafkos Halva also. Because anyway, Bafkos Halva also is Mutter. Therefore, in such an instance, we uh, we say Kach Dineinu, but the Rambam isn't Mechalik that it's only talking about Bafkos Halva also. So you can look there in the Aben Ezel. But that's not Pshat in the Ramah. The Ramah says, always to talk about all cases, or any court case that comes before the court. Not only Afkaz Halvasa. So since we pass in Gezel Akum is Aser, 
Mechi Tesu, we should take from the Akum of Pidini Yisrael, when the Goy is Pater, Mieker Adin, Fidi Neem, the Goy is Pater. So look there in the Beis Shlomo, in the Chazanish, Eben Ezel. And we also have to understand what the Rambam writes in Elohi Yad Aleph there, that if two Akum come before you, Bedin, Bedinei, and the Ladu, Bedinei Yisrael, and they both want to be done in Torah, done in. Then you judge. If one wants and one doesn't want, then you don't force them. So we have to understand the double ocean and the Reisha. He already writes, they come before you, Ladu Medina Israel. And then he writes, Varatsu Shneim Ladu Din Torah. Why does he say the same thing twice? Repetitious, redundant. And we also have to understand that if the Ramam already says that Danim, you're Dan Din so if they both want, it's Pashat that if one of them doesn't want, you're not. So why does the Ramam have to go ahead and say, all right, if they don't want any Kofin, it's Pashat. It says only if they both want Din Israel, otherwise ain't Kofin. And we also have to understand that the Rambam says that Yisrael. Now, did they ask to be done Dine Yisrael? Did they ask? Or is this an automatic? For I said the default is to be judging the din of the of the Akum. Because that's really their din. But you see from the Rambam now like that. You see from the Rambam that they came before you, Ladu Medina Israel. And then it says, Viratsu Shneam, Ladu Medin Torah. So that would mean Lechora, and, and then the Ramam goes ahead and says, Lo Ratsu Ein Kofin. If they don't want, then you're not Kofin. You don't force. Only if they want. Only if they want to judge, only, only if they want to judge Dinitor. But if they don't want to, you don't force. So it sounds like Baal Lefanei, Chalad de Medina Yisrael is automatic. That's the default. And then Ratsu Shneim Ladumidin Torah. So we asked about the Kefil. And then once Ratsu Shneim, then we know. We know automatically La Ratsu and Kofin. So it must be the Pshad is that Bistama, it's Ladumidin Israel. They didn't say anything. And in this the Ramam says. But one of them can say that he doesn't want it. Only if they both wanted it. But one of them can say he doesn't want it. So that's how the Ramam's read. Ramam's read, they come before you, Stam. And you can assume that they both want in Torah. Unless one of them protests. But why would that be? Why would the Stama be Din Torah. That they came before you, you're judging Din Torah, unless one of them protests. Why would the stomach be Din Torah? All right, we said that Mi'ekar Adin, Goyim, the judge Din Akum. Like we saw also Ger Toshev. Ger Toshev is always Din Akum. So why do we say Bistama? Why do we say that the default is they're coming to be done Din Israel? So from here you see Yisod. And that is their two Minyanim. One is the etzim chiyuv that the guy has al pidinam, and the second aspect is din. That there has to be din. It's not necessarily to, to carry out their personal judgment, the, ga- the judgment of the gavra, but rather that there must be din. As long as there's din, you do din, and that's not necessarily katalui, and the chiyuv and the p'tur of the gavra. In the Sheol Meshiv, Madura Kama, Chelik Alfsim, Reish Lamed, he writes, B'bnei Noch, there's no Chiyu B'dei Shemayim. B'din is only B'dinei Adam. And that's what we've been saying. That it's not about being B'vatsei as Chiyuv. Then, that's B'dinei Shemayim. But for him, there is no Dinei Shemayim. So 
So what's the ikkar? There's a din atzmi. They have to do din in bebeiz din shalmat with a tikkun olam. And that's only shayach b'dinei adam. Now it happens to be a big kasha on the shoulder of Meshiv because the Ramam writes not like that. The Ramam says in numerous of Perak Yud, Allah chavab, Allah chates, chiyuv misa, but ain't on erag. The Ketzimish says, Misha de Shemayim. We see elsewhere in Tessa Madalf and Sanhedrin. Misha de Shemayim for Vodazara. But the point is, the Yisog we see. That the Iker is, is if, if you say there's going to be no Dine Shemayim, it's because the Dine Adam, their job is to carry out Din, and it's not about the Gavra. If it's about the Gavra, there'd be Bidine Shemayim. So there is Bidine Shemayim. But we're just taking out the, the idea of the Shaul Meshiv. There's no Bedine Shemayim because the Icar is that Basin should carry out Din and it's not about the Chiv of Tor of the Gavra. Now, if there's a Kiyum Din in Malidei Dos Nimusis, like we spoke about this, this secular humanism, this secular religion of the Goy, meaning that they make their laws, if that's considered Kiyum Din, their law book, that you stutter on Cardozo Law School, so Kav Homer, there's a Kiyum Bedin Shal Kedine Yisrael. The Icar is Din. Dine Akum, Dine Yisrael, Zalom Meshaneh. The Icar is that there's Din. And therefore, when they came before you, since you need Kiyum Dinim, which is also Ide Dine Yisrael, and since you're a Yisrael, so you should do Dine Yisrael. Stomach. They're coming before the Jew. They want the Jewish law to be done anyway. And we don't care. Good Jewish law, good law. The important thing is they get their din. But they know have to have din. And only if one of them doesn't want to, so then he has a schus law to get name. How about the stomach's din? And it could be that's only the kiyum din, but if he goes afterwards to one of their own base dins and they're mezakim, or they're mechayavim lefidinam, so maybe then he's going to have to go to Fidinam afterwards. But the Klape Lefanech, when they go to Fanech, the Icarus, you carry out the Din. It's not about whether Gavra, whether he's Pater or Chayev. The Icarus for them, Din. That's what I said now about afterwards going to their basin, it's not Pashit, but Ishladun. And that's the idea of Imatei Ochol Zakeu. Now, they have this Knas. So therefore, the Ram understood this kenas is that if they come before you, Jew and a guy in judgment, the Kaddish Baruch was mati their mammon. So if you can judge Dine Yisrael, you judge Dine Yisrael, you can judge Dine Yakum, you judge Yakum. And either way works. Why? Why does either way work? Because there's Din. And as long as Din is being done, that's what matters. And there's a Hadaf of Yisrael because the uh, Kaddish Baruch with your they didn't keep the Sheva Mitzvahs. Just if he's a Ger Toshev, there, there's a Mitzvah Lachiosa. There, you always go, Dine Akum. With him, you have to be, Kodesh Baruch was a Mafkir Mimona. The Ger Toshev is good. He's Makal Sheva Mitzvahs. He's the right to live in Eretz Israel. You have to be Machayim, you have to be Merapi him. There, there's no Din Lahadif Yisrael. So there you go back to his Iker Din and you go Kedinayim. But again, when you're doing Dinayim, it's not about the Chalos P'chi of Abtur and the Gavra. It's about making Din. In addition to Din, there's another element. There's an element of the Chiv Torah of the Gavra. But here, when we're, we're talking about when he goes against the Yisrael because of Hitir Mamona, so we say, as long as there's Din, that's what matters. Din is Din Yisrael, it's Din Yakum, they're both Din. And the Yisod of the Dinim of Bnei Noach is Din. Jew, the Yisod is, that's essential. It's not just anything we made up. That's what God wants. It's not just about having Din. There's a chivim tour on the gavra to be mekayim rotz and Hashem. But by Bnei Noach, it's not about the chivim tour of the gavra mekayim rotz and Hashem because they made up their own laws and that's the ones they keep. That's we paskin. All we care about is that there's din, and if he's coming against a Jew, it's dinay Yisrael. 
Or Dine Akam, wherever the Jew is going to be Zaka, but either way, he's getting his din. So that's the so that emerges from this year, and the Yesh Laharich Bazeh. There's uh, loads more to say, and uh, hopefully uh, we're going to continue the next year. And uh, expand on this more. But just to add an akuda that it's Pasha Lefizeh, that that the Ramam writes, like Abigir Toshav, Shalom Danam Abedinehem, That is the potro. The Ger Toshav is going to be potter. We can potter him the Fidinam if he goes against the Jew. Avalachai Yisrael, Vadai Sheno Chayav al Pidinam. We can't be Machai of a Jew when he goes against the Ger Toshav. Bidinam. What right does Dinam have? To take away the money of the Jew? And the answer is none. It's only to pat to the Ger Toshev, but not to be Machai of the Yisrael. Because Yisrael, I know totally be din. He's totally in Chiv Uptur. And his din is Alpi Dine Yisrael. And the Beis Shlomo was Tamea that if I'll be our din, I'll be dine Yisrael, he's putter, how can we be machai of him, shalok din, when he's against the Gertosh? We say, Gertosh, we go to feed their dinim. So there he's marich l'tmoa, up there in the Chazanish, Sifkat Ndala, Dibur Maschil Ha, Sifkat Yidalaf, Dibur Maschil Ksosa Choshin, Shen Estapik Bezeh. He had the suffix also the Chazanish. But based on what we said, it's Pashit that the Jew is in Machuy of Lahotzi Mishalom. And even though the Rambam was so saying, the Rambam doesn't say that it's only the Patur the Ger Toshav, but it's not to be Machay of the Jew. But the Rambam is only talking about the, the, the Rambam, is not talking about Chiyuv and Ptur. The Rambam is talking about Dine Dinim Shil Bnei Noach. So, but Dine Dinim Shil Bnei Noach, the Ger, you judge a Ger Toshav, the Fidir Dinim to be Machay Din. But he's not talking about the chiv and the door of the government. Therefore, you can't be mechayv the Yisrael. Ram says you're in the ger toshev done lo kedinayim. But the Yisrael has nothing to do with this guy there. The Rambam is talking about a role. It's pushed that he's putter. And also the Chazanish discusses him in Yotziv Kan Gimel. The Akum Shapasa Chalom. He opens up a window. The Hezekiah problem, it's Mutter B'dinayim. Nevertheless, the Rash writes in the Chuvis. That Yisrael, Koifeyu Listom Chesh Hezekiah. So now a Jew moves in, and he can, he can, uh, st- he can make him close up these windows when there's Hezekiah. But why? Iker Dino Bedinam, and the Zohar Akum was already Zohar, it's too late. He has rights. But based on what we said, a Jew has no Dina Hafsid. He doesn't lose. And here it's a case of Hafsid, and therefore so same, like the Rashba says. And that's what the, the, the Ramban says. And the Chuvah Sam Yuchasos and Simon Reish Chofel in Yimbechora. That if a guy owns an animal, it's Patra from Bechora. So if Alpi Dinein Ulo Kani, even though he's Kani Bidinein, it doesn't Patra from Bechora. Frek the Chazanish, Sifkat Beis, why not? Iker Dino Bidinein. 
So why shouldn't that be a Kenyan? But based on what we said, this dinam is just to be Makayim Din. But not for the Atzim Kenyan and the Metzius of Shalom. Minyan Shalachem B'bchor Atzal Metzius. Now what based in is Kovei Amidin Mitzvah Dinim. So we didn't mitzvah's dinim, so he made a kenyan. But that doesn't change the mitzvahs. So, there's a lot more to say. And I hope uh, we get to it. Amir Tzashem, Vesiyat Tishmaya. And uh, give ourselves a bracha. And we should be zocha lil mo du lalame lishma velas lo kaimus kolavir samu torah so v'yahava. And we should continue singing the flows mitaras Hashem. Shalom, shalom, sweetest and most beloved friends.